Hi, hello everyone, welcome in. If you're new here, my name is The Jade Plant, and today I'm going to be giving an OBS Studio tutorial for beginners. If you're wanting to get into content creation or into streaming, this is the tutorial for you. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to download some of my free Twitch overlays as some free resources for you guys. I'm also going to go over how to download OBS Studio. I'm going to show you guys how to add sources such as your camera or your gameplay or your microphone. And I'm also going to show you how to get started with streaming as well. If you did find this video helpful or you did like it, feel free to drop a like below or subscribe as it does help my channel out. Anyways, let's get on to the tutorial. To get started for this tutorial, the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you're on some type of computer. Um, it does not need to be the strongest computer. You can start streaming on a good old MacBook or pretty much any device that can run a program and a game. You're totally fine to run with. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you're on a computer for this. It's not going to work on mobile or on PS5 or Xbox or anything like that. You've got to make sure you're on a computer. Um, to run OBS Studio. Step two, we're going to want to head to Google and type in OBS Studio. And the first option is going to be obsproject.com with OBS Studio. This is the proper website. Don't get this one anywhere else. OBS Studio, like don't get it from any other website. I can't verify that those ones are safe and you might get a virus. So if we're going to go ahead and open the website, you'll want to either download it for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Um, I've got Windows and I already have it downloaded. Um, supports Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm on Windows 10. Um, so just go ahead and download it. It's very easy to download. It's like pretty much downloading any other program. You just have to allow it to make changes to your hard drive, accept the terms and download it. It doesn't take very long. So once you've got that, we'll head over to the next step. So now that you've got the program downloaded, it should look like this. I do want to point out that I have my OBS Studio in dark theme, which does change the like the color and the shape of the buttons. But if you're confused by that, you can change yours to dark theme um, or the tutorial will work the same. Don't worry. So first, we're going to start by adding a profile to your OBS. This is going to be useful if you're going to be streaming at all. So just head up to profile here in the top pop bar and you're going to want to press new. And you can enter the name of your profile. My streaming one, I just named the Jade Plant. That's my stream URL. But I'm just going to name this one Test for today's purpose. Now, this is important. Are you going to use this OBS for streaming, recording secondary? If you're not, then you can optimize for recording. I'm going to put streaming because I will be streaming. And this does change your settings on OBS. So pick the option that you think works best. You're going to want to choose your base canvas size. If you've got a pretty good computer, you know, you don't have a lot of lags with heavy FPS games or anything like that. You know that you have a good computer. You can choose 1920 by 1080. But if your computer is a little bit on the weaker side, probably choose 1280 by 720. That's the setting I had selected when I used to stream on my 2013 MacBook Air and it worked great for me. So select whichever one works best. Um, I chose for the FPS option either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. Or you can manually choose 30 or 60, whatever one works better for you. Now, for the stream information, I stream on Twitch, so I'm going to select Twitch. But you can choose a bunch of all, uh, you can choose a bunch of other options, um, whichever one you stream on. And then you can go ahead and press connect account. And just log in through your Twitch that way, it's very easy. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can use your stream key, which you can find directly on your Twitch profile. After you've logged in with your Twitch, just press next. Once you're done that, it's going to open a couple widgets here because I selected stream, but we can just close all of this. Now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to start adding scenes. You can see right here, scenes. This is where you're going to add different scenes, such as your starting soon screen or your gameplay scene or your be right back screen. So you can kind of toggle through each scene, which makes streaming very seamless. To create a new scene, you're gonna go down to the scene section here, press plus, and let's start with starting soon screen. You can name it what you want to stay organized. And there we go, that's our first scene. So now we're obviously gonna want to add some things to our scene, such as our starting soon screen. So we're gonna press plus. 
So depending on what image or video you have for your starting soon screen, it's going to depend what you click here. Let's do the image one first, and then second, I'll show you how to do a video. For the image, let's name it starting soon screen. I want to make sure that the source is visible. We're going to press OK. There's a lot of options here. I like to make sure loop is on. So if your image is a GIF or has any animations in it, you'll want to make sure loop is on. Um, and then we'll go down, we'll add an image image file here. We're going to go here and just add an image file. Go find your scene in your computer. I've got mine here. So I'm going to add my starting soon screen. And there you are. It's been added. You can press OK. Another way to do this is you can also just you can also just drag and drop the image like this into here. But I do know that method doesn't work for everybody. So that's why I wanted to show you both. If you do end up dragging and dropping, it'll title it the same title that your image file is. To rename it, you right click it and you can rename it anything you want. Next, we're going to be adding a video into the starting soon screen. Just to make it less confusing, I'm going to get rid of this original one. And we're starting from fresh, just in case you're adding a video first. We're going to again hit the plus under sources and we're going to add a media source such as a video. We're going to name it starting soon, mp4. Again, name it whatever you want. Make sure the source is visible. And we're going to browse for local files and go ahead and find the file that you want to use. So I picked my file. Now you're going to want to press loop because if your full video plays, the screen will go black when it's finished. And maybe you don't want that. Maybe your video is only 30 seconds and it, you want it to loop to last for your whole starting soon screen. So press loop and then it'll stop it from ending. It'll just continue to play. You can also change the speed if you want to slow it down or speed it up. You just press OK. And there's your video. Now you'll see in this audio mixer, I've got sound on my video. I've added some DMCA free music onto my video, which you can see here with the audio mixer, it's working. Now in my headphones, I cannot hear the music. If you want to hear the music, you have to right click the little three dots here, go to advanced audio properties, and we're going to find our name of our MP4 file here. Audio monitoring, monitor is off, so only stream can hear it. But if I want to be able to hear it and have stream here, I will press monitor and output. Now I can hear it in my headphones. And if I, I only want to be the one to hear it, but I don't want stream to hear it, then you'll want to press monitor only. For this sake, I don't want to hear this music while I'm streaming. So I'm going to just keep it as monitor off so stream can hear it, but I can't hear it. You can also slide down the volume like this to make the song quieter. You can also mute it outright if you like. And I can actually show you guys how to add music on here as well if you'd like for the starting soon screen. To add music, you can press the plus down here on sources again. We're going to add another media source. We'll just title this one music. And again, go ahead and find that music file that you want to add. And I'm going to select a loop again so it, the music doesn't stop. We'll press OK. And here we have our music file again. The same settings here in that little drop down under advanced properties would work if you want to hear this music or if you want it to be muted for you, whatnot. But that's how you add music. I usually recommend to turn it down a little bit as this can be very loud. I usually recommend to match it to the same volume that your microphone would be um, for the starting soon screens. So once you actually go live and start talking, you're not ear blasting your viewers. Um, same with the music. You don't want somebody to pop into your stream and immediately get ear blasted where it's way too loud. You'll also want to keep in mind if you're putting music in your streams to make sure that it's copyright or DMCA free as your Twitch account can get banned. So now that we have the starting soon screen finished, we're going to go ahead and add our gameplay scene. Again, under scenes, we're going to press plus and we'll just title this gameplay. Me personally, I have different scenes for what games I typically play. So I have one for Genshin Impact, which is my main game that I stream. And then I have a different one for Animal Crossing, things like that. The reason I have separate ones is because I like to have my camera in different spots, or maybe I like to have the settings altered a little bit depending on how loud that game is or what kind of audio that game requires. So make sure that you've got gameplay selected. We're gonna 
go to sources and now let's add our game capture first i'm going to show you guys how to do this with a pc game and then after that i'm going to show you guys how to rig your capture card as well if you're playing on a pc game and you have your game up on a separate window we're going to select a window capture for example genshin impact and then through here under window just select whatever window your game is on this way that i just showed you works well if you only have one monitor so you have your obs studio open on one half and your game open on the other and it should pop up just like this this is just an example picture um so now we've got our game we want to now add our camera to add your camera we're going to select video capture device because we're going to be capturing a video and i would re recommend to name this your like, either camera or name it the model of your camera if you have multiple cameras going. It'll give the same prompt. For my camera, I would add, I would select EOS webcam and your camera would pop up in the corner. Mine's not gonna pop up like that because I have it running in this OBS, but you get the point. It'll pop up just like any other tab and you can resize it however way you want. To resize, you just click on the source and you can resize. Next, I'm also gonna be adding a microphone. To add the microphone, hit that plus under sources and select audio input capture. And I'm just gonna name this the type of microphone I have. It'll bring up this prompt and you're just gonna select your microphone model and press okay. And as you can see here, I've got my microphone working, it works just fine, and if you want to test it out or see how you hear, go to advanced audio properties and you can select monitor and output, and now I can hear myself echoing, so that's a way to test out if your microphone's working fine and if it sounds good. I also recommend adding filters to your microphone. I do have a couple separate videos on my TikTok talking about what filters I have, so I'll have those linked below for your own resources. And if you want me to do an in-depth video on what filters I like to add on YouTube, I can do that, but I will link my full in-depth TikTok tutorial below. To add filters though, you just right click and you can select filters instead of selecting advanced audio properties, or you can also just right click under sources and you can select filters and you can add all kinds of different different voice filters. This is the make, make or break between if you sound professional or not is the filters. So I really recommend to play around with that. You could even look up um, YouTube tutorials for your specific microphone type that you have or brand as the filters would definitely differ between what type of microphone you have. And there you go. So that's your gameplay screen and your starting soon screen. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to download my free stream slash twitch overlays that you guys can use for free for your own resources so to download my free stream overlays you're going to want to head to my ko-fi slash the jade plant i've got the page up here here i have a full website full of free resources for broke streamers or streamers on a budget so let's go through some options that i have i have things like emotes or png tubers or overlays so go ahead and pick whichever one you want i have a couple free options i have a couple paid options so it's really up to you and what your style is. For example, I have this froggy pack, which is one of my new favorites. I recommend to read the description. You can see all my descriptions include what the pack you're downloading comes with. This one has three animated Twitch overlays, one offline screen and 10 Twitch panels. So to get it for free, you can type zero. If you did want a tip, that is totally up to you. You can type whatever amount you want here, but to get it for free, then you're gonna wanna press get now. And because it's free, just press checkout. And there you go. You can go ahead and download all of these. And yeah, that's how you download those overlays. Anyways, that's going to be the end of my OBS Studio tutorial for beginners. If you had any more questions or you wanted me to show any other parts of OBS Studio, I'm happy to make a part two. Just let me know in the comments down below whatever question you have. Um, and I'll try my best to answer all of them if it's a question that I can't answer. Again, I'll leave some resources down in the description box below, such as my free Twitch overlays, um, my tutorial for microphone setting recommendations, and anything else I can think of that can help you guys along your OBS Studio journey. If you did like this video and you did want to support the channel, feel free to drop a like or subscribe to my channel. 
Um, and if you play Genshin Impact, I also stream on Twitch if you wanted to go check that out and give me a little follow or, or come say hi during a live stream. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you next time.